Okay, so we already know that getting perfect grades, a really good SAT or ACD score, those are just bare minimum. That's what you need to qualify to get into top schools, right? So then the very next thing they're going to look at is how you're spending your time, and summer is a lot of free time. So if you're trying to get into a top college, listen up. There are a lot of summer programs available. Um, we mentioned this in a past video that you can get paid for or that are free. And I actually would recommend that you try to seek out the programs that are free rather than pay thousands and thousands of dollars for another summer program. Not to say that those are bad, um, especially if you're a freshman, this summer taking classes at a local college might actually be your best bet. But when you're applying to college as a senior, if the only things on your resume that you did during the summer were things that you had to pay for, it's not going to look as good. Let's try to think past the pay to play thing. We're going to be going over some of our favorite programs. Um, we have a ton more that we're not even going to touch in this video. So if you're either a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, there's probably something in here for you. And actually, if you're a junior and you cannot find anything to do with your summer, we will be making a video uh, later in the future that can help you out. If you want us to go over more of our favorites in a future video, please leave a comment down below, let me know. Um, you can also tell us what your field of interest is and the kind of internship you're looking for, and we can do some digging for you. Okay, um, probably one of the most intensive summer applications, um, the Navy's uh, Science and Engineering Apprenticeship Program, or SEEP. So when I say the application is kind of intensive, um, it opens August 1st. And there is a long process with several deadlines in between for students to keep track of. So we recommend that you start thinking about this one at the beginning of the summer um, if you're currently a freshman or a sophomore. Next, we've got NASA internship programs. Um, there's a ton of these and they do take a little bit of digging. Uh, if you like STEM, NASA probably has something for you. Um, aerospace engineering, biochemistry, physics, it's worth poking around their STEM gateway page um, if you see yourself studying STEM in the future. If the arts are more your thing, um, a MET internship could be for you. Right now, the MET takes high school students in 10th or 11th grade from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Um, they don't provide housing, so you have to make sure that you can actually commute to Manhattan. I think it's worth actually reaching out to them to see if you have to be from those three states, if you have to be residents. Um, because if you have family living in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, and they're willing to take you in, I think, you know, you could stay with them over the summer and this could be a really good internship for you. This is a horrible screenshot, I apologize. But if you are invested in your community um, and you're interested in business, I think Bank of America would be a really good option for you. They have a student leadership program. Um, it links students to local nonprofits and allows them to participate in a national leadership summit. It's not like those weird, vague leadership programs that you'll sometimes find online that again are pay to play. Applications for 2024 are now closed, but um, if you're a student interested in business and struggling to find internships, let me know. I do have some advice for you that I can give you in a future video. So there's a couple at Indiana University that I do want to talk about, um, especially if you want to become a doctor. If you're also just invested in discovering new cancer treatments or, you know, practicing oncology in the future. The Simon Comprehensive Cancer Center, sorry, that's a mouthful, um, has several programs that are available. Two of them are specifically focused on helping students from populations that are underrepresented in biomedical and clinical research. Um, applications are accepted on a rolling basis, so you want to apply as soon as possible. The Scripps Research Translational Institute's Student Research Internship Program. Um, that's another great option for students who are also interested in health sciences. There's a lot out there for pre-med, by the way. If you want to become a doctor, you should be seeking these out every single summer. This one in particular, though, does have tracks for statistics, computational and computer sciences. So if you're kind of interested in healthcare, but you're not really looking to become a doctor, I think this is also another one that's great for you. Um, so if you like coding and you're thinking I want to do some coding that helps, you know, health science research, this one's could, a pretty good option for you. The deadline for these are March 30th, so juniors, you should jump on this. <laughs> Another horrible screenshot, but last but not least, we've got the um, Clark Scholars Program. This one is great for students who are interested in STEM um, and health sciences, and interestingly enough, history. This one's highly competitive. Um, we recommend that you go in knowing exactly what it is that you want to research uh, within your field. So you can't just say, I wanna research, you know, AI needs to be more specific than that. 
The deadline for this one is February 15th. So unless you've got a solid essay response to their questions already written, um, this recommendation is more for current sophomores to keep an eye out for the future. Like I said, we're totally happy to go into more in the future. If you drop a comment, let us know what it is that you want to study in the future. I can give you some advice. However, I promise it's easier to find things like this than you think. Just literally Google them. Google your intended major or the field of study that you want to go into and then summer high school internship or summer high school research. And you'll probably find something that's kind of cool that's close to you. If you can find one that's nearby, it's likely going to be slightly less competitive, unless of course you live in a big metropolitan area, then you've got obviously a few more people to compete with. But I do think that it'll still be slightly less competitive. Like there's a ton that are out in these random suburbs of California. I say random suburbs, like they're near schools in California. Um, I didn't include them here, but if you'd like me to, please let me know and I'll make a whole video just about, you know, internships in California. Now, if you are a junior, listen up, um, because if a lot of the ones that you wanted to apply for have already passed, then you're going to want to resort to um, professor mentor outreach. I promise it's not as scary as it sounds. It does require that you put yourself out there a little bit more. We're going to talk about that in our next video. Um, it'll be all about professor research mentorship and how to reach out to those people with some good tips about how to actually get a response from those professors, or at the very least, get your email read.